are everywhere. High-end coffee machines that make a great and convenient cup of joe. Recently, when Deborah poured a cup from our office coffee maker, she got alarmed. Grabbed my coffee, I always go for the super black, put it in, and was horrified, horrified by how disgustingly dirty it is in here. Yeah. John, take a look. This machine is so gross. And I thought, we got to test the coffee machine. And that's exactly what we did. We swabbed all over the cup holder and the areas where the water comes out. Then we conducted the same tests at other offices and also homes. Vanya Mendez is an actress who lives in New Jersey. She's also a coffee fanatic and a clean freak. So we definitely want to know what's in here. We swabbed several spots, including the water reservoir. Oh. Oh, something yeah. there. No turning back now. <laughs> Can't wait to find out. Next stop, a Long Island, New York office where this office manager often makes a cup from this machine. You depend on this machine. We do. This looks really dirty. Oh my goodness. The results are in. Time to reveal the details. First up, our coffee maker at Inside Edition. We actually found five different types of bacteria, including E. coli. Oh my God. Are you serious? Yes. In here? Yes. E. coli. Can make you sick. Can make you really yes. sick. Then we broke the news to Vanya, who has that high-end machine in her home. On this machine, we found five different types of bacteria. Two of those types actually could cause pneumonia, urinary tract infections, even lung infection. Oh my God. That's why you didn't want a coffee when you got here. <laughs> Last stop, that office on Long Island. We found five different oh, God, types of that's bacteria, disgusting. including E. coli. Oh, okay, that's what I was afraid of. There are simple things you can do to get rid of all the ick. Megan Murphy, the executive editor at Good Housekeeping, suggests the following tips. Number one, dry out your coffee machine after each use by lifting the handle. Also, wipe off any moisture from the reservoir lid and the rest of the machine. Tip number two, clean the machine regularly with soapy water. And tip number three, about once a month, run vinegar through the machine to clean it from the inside. So if you clean it regularly, better tasting cup of coffee, prolong the life of the pot, and prevent all that mold, yeast, and bacteria. To clean coffee. Cheers. Cheers. Keurig and other coffee machine manufacturers say you should follow the specific cleaning instructions that come with their products.